So we, we have a, a project um, within ENOS, within the European network, on a, a particular aspect of outdoor sports and it's called the WET project. Uh, it's just been uh, successful uh, in an Erasmus Plus application and the WET project is all about water sports. It's called WET, which means water sports enhanced together. The partnership uh, that's put that together is led by ourselves in Sport Northern Ireland, but is also involving uh, Salmon Latu in Finland, Waterways Ireland in Ireland, Surf Club de Viana in Portugal, the uh, National Institute of Education, Sport Education in Catalonia, and the National Sports Academy in Bulgaria. So it's got a partnership of six partners, and what we'll be doing is working together to increase opportunities for people to take part in water-based recreation. The, the reason we're doing that is because we see that water-based recreation provides a really uh, good way to engage people who maybe don't traditionally take part in sport. So this project is quite innovative and we're aiming to engage people that maybe haven't been involved in traditional sports before. Uh, the project involves a, a number of key aspects. Uh, the first one is that we're going to work with local clubs, local organisations to deliver a range of taster events over the summer uh, in 2016. And those will happen uh, across each of the partner countries. We then, after that, we're going to get some of the coaches and leaders and instructors who have been taking part and volunteering for those club sessions to uh, apply to go on an exchange visit to see how each of the other countries do it. So five coaches or leaders from each of the countries will get the opportunity to travel to the partner countries uh, and experience how they develop water-based recreation in their own country. So that's a really unique opportunity. We'll bring those leaders back and they will share their knowledge and experiences with participants and other coaches and leaders in their own countries. Then during the European Week of Sport, we're going to organise um, a number of big flotilla events where we bring uh, lots of participants, all the people who have taken part in the taster events, lots of clubs, activity providers uh, and, and uh, sailing schools, rowing schools to come and travel down a local river in an urban area. So rivers that we're looking at are places like the River Lagan in Northern Ireland, which flows through the main city. We're going to be doing it through Vienna in Portugal and through Helsinki in Finland. Um, those flotilla events will involve thousands of participants travelling all together in different types of boats uh, down, down each of those rivers. The aim of that is to showcase uh, to the local media and to the national media that water-based sports are a really good way to engage people with uh, sport and physical activity. That will take place during the European Week of Sport and then it'll be showcased uh, through the European Week of Sport website in Brussels as well. The final part of the, 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 uh, the programme is to then develop a toolkit that will help other organisations uh, run water-based sports as well. Uh, so we'll take all the learning that we've done from that, this project and pull it together into a toolkit, put it onto a website and make it freely available. We're also going to run a final seminar in Brussels for uh, European Commission Sport Unit, for uh, national federations, for government agencies to tell them how we did the project and how they could uh, increase opportunities for water-based sports uh, in their own countries using the information that we've gathered. So that's the WET project that uh, we've pulled together.